hi youtube it's been some time since i did my last video so today it's late night and i thought why don't i run you through my collection of tintin tintin is one of my most favorite characters from childhood and it is one of the most famous cartoons uh, from europe which whom was created by um i think uh, george rami yeah popularly of course we all know him as herge right and uh, this was created in the 1929 1930 uh, that sort of timeline way way long back and um, i think there was a set of 24 books um which uh, took around 45 50 years for herge to finish and uh, that's the collection we have here and um, i think the last book uh, came out around 1983 and um, um so that was it um so all these books were originally written in french and then later was translated to english and um, herge himself was from belgium and uh, obviously uh, tintin had to be and it is was will be a belgian a reporter come journalist so um uh what are the new sensation of tintin as the new movie which has come out recently uh from steven spielberg and um in fact uh i read it somewhere that herge always felt that steven spielberg is the man uh, who would do justice uh, for uh, the movie uh, of tintin right so that's a short introduction i thought and uh, this is a picture i made some time back uh, of tintin so let's let's just jump into the books right so i don't have um all the books of tintin this is the book i have um so if you go by uh, chronological order the first book that came out was tintin in the land of soviets unfortunately uh, it's in black and white and i didn't like it um pretty much so i didn't buy it uh, the second one which came out is tintin in congo um again um uh, it's a very limited edition because there is a lot of racial slur to it uh, due to which it's not popularized much um so i don't have those two this is the third in the series in which tintin is in america and uh, it's it's a very beautiful book and you as you can see the red indian on the top uh, cover and um, all the books of tintin has a typical um comical arrangement to it and uh, each frame uh, the beauty in it is each frame represents something right uh, so there is each frame if you take it out has some or the other story to tell that's the beauty with which her just created it and the ba- very interesting thing is um snowy he always has something or the other to contribute in each of the frames so that's that's the best part of it uh, this one is a good read um, uh, i would uh, definitely recommend it um and uh, we should definitely uh, have a read um to start off um, from where we all began right um so tintin uh, has been portrayed as a very uh, brave and um, you know uh, charming detective and with a lot of good luck right in all these stories as you can see when we go through it right um coming to the next book uh, tintin and the cigars of the pharaoh uh, i kept a plus one here there are two things interesting to this book one this is the book where uh, thompson and thompson gets introduced i always i mean i always miss out on how to pronounce those names perfectly but very beautiful cover there is a set of scientists who go behind um, go missing and tintin gets to investigate it um, very nice book and uh, this book actually leads up to the next book uh, which is the tintin and the blue lotus so together um, they complete the story line and it's a, it's, a, it's a very interesting story um, again uh, pick it up definitely if you get the chance right um, from there uh, we will move to uh, i mean a word on uh, thompson and thompson who gets introduced in the book they are the two detectives and very very funny and um, they keep uh the charm of the books uh, going uh, throughout so very interesting that way then we move to this another story which is the broken ear um uh, in which um uh, a statue um um goes missing from the museum and tintin gets to investigate it mix of adventures and 
you know uh, excitement and stuff as he uh, goes through the jungles and uh, you know tries to find out where this uh, statue is hidden again artwork is obviously a uh, brilliant as always the interesting fact is there are a lot of revolutions that kim that becomes part of this kind of stories that he uh, tintin uh, has in store for us and a um, lot of mix of characters from different cultures which 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 is always delightful right um we move on to another very interesting book uh, tintin and the black island um i think this is the only book uh, which doesn't have a proper villain um i'm not spoiling it for you if you haven't read it uh, but despite that it's a very good book it has a lot of adventure to it and you can see the um, character design here is very beautiful you know a uh, very very interesting storyline uh, with a lot of different um, characters uh definitely uh, pick it up if you get a chance then we move on to the next one which is king autocas scepter another very good book i would say and it's also the introduction of uh, bianca castafiore um, i think it's a popular character and you would definitely uh, not miss out on her throughout the story it's a i like this cover specifically i like the way he's coming out of this castle with the guards looking around very sheepishly as what's going on um another uh, interesting book uh, to pick it up obviously um, i being a tintin fan try to pick up as much as i could so um, no question there and castafiore throughout reading it you will understand um you know she is a self popularized singer and um, she draws um, Uh, she, i mean she makes uh, captain haddock go nuts whenever she is around him uh, but all that for you to find out another book uh, is 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 a very important book uh, the crab with the golden claws important because it is the introduction book for this character uh, who is captain haddock um, very very important character uh, who completes tintin uh, in in the best possible ways and um, a nice interesting book um, Uh, with uh, i mean it's it's all about a story on which he goes and investigate uh, what is the whole um, you know um, funda about uh, this uh, crab with the golden claws which is um, um, which is part of almost everything that he sees within the book leads to that uh, what exactly is the mystery behind it uh, interesting pick up another very interesting one which is the shooting star um, one of the facts that i liked about this book is um it again shows the uh, the different um, set of people who are actually after the same thing right uh, so a shooting star falls on earth and believing that there are some treasures or some important inventions that lie hidden in this rock everybody is goes after it and obviously tintin also gets to be part of the expedition and that is the funny part of this whole book and uh, again uh, very very interesting storyline to pick up uh, i is one of my favorites um, if you are asking me to recommend very very important part and the most um, important two issues um, of this entire tintin collection is the secret of the unicorn in which captain haddock finds out that he is his ancestor uh, francis haddock uh, who is shown here and about the treasure that hides within a fantabulous story a fantabulous adventure Uh, um uh, you know who leads up to uh, the next big book which is uh, the red rackham's treasure also this is the book uh, which is um, the introduction book for professor calculus who forms another important character throughout the tintin books right uh, but uh, this two um, are uh, my top two books in this entire um, series and um, also these two books lead up to the movie Uh, which uh, recently came out about the adventures of tintin and um, so definitely uh, pick it up uh, if you get a chance and uh, very beautiful artwork uh, also i mean not to miss out on those right the next one is the seven crystal balls again uh, it's it's a plus one um, basically to say that uh, there are two books in this series uh, seven crystal balls and uh, prisoners of the sun uh and the interesting story uh, the good part of it is that this story runs into the next um volume and 
they go and find out what are the secrets hidden behind um, uh, you know the the worshippers of the sun god and how tintin befools them and comes out of it a very interesting story um and uh, professor calculus obviously uh, is 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 forms the uh, spark in this and it it it, it, it everything starts from him and uh, again then tintin takes over so nice couple of books here so another uh, very interesting book uh, tintin and the land of black gold this is the one book i have which is from little brown almost everything i have is from egmont right um very very funny book uh, i think this is the most funniest book of the lot uh, you will not forget abdullah uh, the character abdullah here uh, and um, and the mischief he is up to uh, it's a very interesting character that comes alive in this book so if you love tintin do definitely pick this up two very interesting books the next two uh, destination moon and um, explorers on the moon uh, famously um, uh, created around uh, the 1969 it was when everybody was after uh, the rush to land on moon A very interesting story arc uh, tells about the different um, you know um, different uh, mindset of people at that time what they wanted to achieve and how uh, far they would go to achieve them two very good books on that um, i mean i had no hesitation in picking those up uh, the next one is the calculus affair it's a very uh, good story um, intriguing uh, and um, how calculus uh, gets kidnapped and how tintin goes after him and finally ends up saving him nice book right um, another one uh, red sea sharks um, i think this is captain allen and uh, how he becomes their friend and um i think again this is the story of alan yeah this this is the villain alan and rastapopulus obviously is the main villain uh, in most of the stories so um nice interesting story arc uh, definite pick up tintin tibet um, another very interesting story of how he goes um in search of one of his friend that gets lost in uh, tibet and uh, the yeti mars as you can see as her here and i think it uh, ends with a very interesting uh, picture of yeti looking at uh, everybody leaving right uh, nice nice interesting story arcs right so tintin in tibet is another one castafiore it's it this is one revolves around bianca castafiore and how her jewels get stolen and how tintin helps and finds them out um very interesting one uh not as catchy as the earlier ones but i mean if if you are making a tintin collection you wouldn't want to miss out on this for sure another one a uh, flight 714 to sydney uh, again rasta populus is back and here another funny character gets introduced who is um, very um, who is a billionaire and um, I forgot his name though um so th- this this billionaire gets introduced and um, um sp- sp- and um, how uh, he gets kidnapped and tintin gets in, uh, kidnapped along with him uh, all for you to find out rather than me explaining i think it's uh, uh, the last one in the chronological order is tintin and the picaros um and i think the only one which is remaining after this is tintin and the alpha art which again i didn't pick it up because it is black and white and i was not quite enjoying that so this is the last of the series from herge uh before he passed away uh, another very interesting book and um uh, good read right um so this is another book which is not written by herge although many people think it to be um this was a uh, a movie which was supervised by herge and um, later they made a comic out of it uh, the comic work is not that great um right um, it's it's definitely different and even the dialogues are not that interesting as the earlier ones so um i just picked it up because i got a very good bargain offer uh but um, i mean just i wanted to add to my collection but um that's it um this is my collection of tintin i hope you like this video and um uh, whatever i uh, had to share about tintin uh one of my childhood heroes and i'm sure it will be uh, for most of you people so uh definitely pick this books up uh, it's one for the children as well as for adults 
and um, if you like this video please do uh, like and subscribe um, i've been told to say that uh, i didn't know i have not done it before but um, um, i mean it it will uh, at the least uh, give me more inspiration to create such videos and share my thoughts with you so this is my review of the tintin collection and uh, hats off to herge um, it's 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 one of the greatest comic um, that has lasted for generations and generation so good night and thank you